going on guys uh, came out here to this little food plot today and wanted to check this trail camera this trail camera here was sent to me by the company woe sports and when they reached out i told them i would do an honest review of this trail camera here uh, that they provided me so this one here that they sent me is a full hd uh, it does shoot in 1080p and then i just want to show you a few highlights here of what it looks like whenever you open the front door on this and all the features that it has. So you can kind of see here the button layout and then it has an LCD screen here. So we'll switch this button here on the bottom over to test and then that turns on your LCD. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that here in the daylight. So you've got your menu here with your mode, uh, camera or video. And then you can see here, just a quick scroll through the menu, how easy this thing is to set. Uh, we'll just go down and I'll show you how easy it is just to, we'll say set the clock. So you go there, hit okay. And then here you can change all your dates and time. You hit okay for enter. Hopefully you guys can see that, but up here it's going to show you your photo count or video count uh, if you're on photo or video. And then it's got uh, battery life left here. This thing does have awesome battery life. And then you can go down here and click on replay. And that allows you to stand in the field or in the woods and go through all of your pictures. You can see there whenever I started the video and I'll show you guys a better picture of these once I pull the card but the LCD screen is just very nice very easy to use so we'll just kind of go through some of the features here this comes in camo which is the version that was sent to me comes in black and comes in tan uh, it comes in with this nice mount I do like this so you just take this plate and then screw it to a wall if you want to use it as like a home security type thing or you could put this on a tree and then it comes with this flexible mount where this head moves right here and this head moves as well. You put the mount in this plate and then this is all fully adjustable so you can tilt the camera in whatever direction you need to. And then in the box it comes with the user manual and then it comes with a cord that you can hook it up to the computer. Uh, this does run off of eight AA batteries then I'm just going to kind of show you guys some pictures here along the way and some video footage while I'm talking about this. Some of the pros of this camera are it takes awesome daytime video and daytime pictures. Uh, no questions, no concerns with that. And then a few of the cons that I have with this, and this is just because it is kind of more of a budget-minded camera. I mean, we're only talking, I think, as of today's date, maybe 50 bucks for this. So daytime, it's awesome. I can't figure out a way, and I actually contacted the company, to change the sensitivity level. So it seems like on days where it's not even too windy, that I'm just getting a lot of blank, basically grass moving type pictures. Uh, it seems like the sensitivity is very, very finicky, very, very high, I guess you would say. So just getting a lot of random nothing out there, maybe some grass moving. Um, I do have some other higher end cameras where it's extremely breezy outside extremely windy it is going to pick up a lot of just random grass movement but this seems kind of on a higher degree which is of course going to waste some of your battery and one of the things i like about this on the lcd screen on the inside whenever you open that up it's almost like your cell phone it just shows you a little bar um, and then a percentage of how much battery you have left so you really know exactly how much you have left and then here's that lcd panel that i was talking about uh, this is on the inside of it. You can see all your button options right here. On the back side, it's you know pointing towards me. So here's my hand moving on the back. Whenever you get up to the tree, you know you can actually scroll through and look at all your pictures on this right here. Pretty nice. And then you would just hit menu here, and then you can see all the options. Real easy to set up. Real easy, friendly menu. And then like I was talking about right here is the battery. So you can tell there I'm only at 10% left. Uh, another con would be at nighttime, the pictures and the video, it seems like it doesn't really pick up too far out. If something's relatively close, the picture and video is fine. 
but my other cameras, of course, I spend more for those. They do pick up at further distances and more clarity for those cameras. But for 50 bucks, it's a pretty nice little camera. And when you're spending 50 bucks, you know, you don't expect it to be top of the line. You get quite a bit out of this. So if you're just looking for something that, you know, is mainly going to be daytime, um, super clear pictures, super clear video during day. Um, at nighttime, it's not that great, but it'll get the job done up close. This is a good camera to buy. But I'm going to keep running this trail camera in certain spots. I'm not going to put it where I get a lot of nighttime activity, but I'll put it in places where I know there's more daytime activity. Appreciate you guys watching. Let me know if you have any questions on this down below. And I'm going to put a direct link to this on Amazon so you guys can take a look at it there, read some of the reviews. And uh, as always, happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys. Bye.